Okay, I thought I'd make a video on powder coating bullets here. <clears throat> um, tons of ways to do this. Everyone's got their way. I had somebody ask me on Instagram after I sent some pictures. They were having trouble PCing bullets. And <clears throat> when I described my way, they said I never heard of that. So I'm just going to do a quick video. Here's some stuff you might need. Um, obviously, some bullets. These are the NOE um, 452, 232 grain, hollow point, cut point, flat point. These are the flat points. I, actually, the hollow points are in the oven right now. Whoops. <laughs> um, I just did these. These are the NOE. Um, they're three, 360 diameter. 294 grain. It's a copy of the old Lyman 358-009. These are hollow point and cup point. And these I just finished. So if you're going to do taller bullets, these are the mini ice cube trays, silicone. They were made by Casabella. I'm pretty sure they're out of business. I got these like... I don't know, 2014 at a thrift store thinking, hey, that might work. And I never saw anyone doing it. And I, anyways, that's what I came up with. I think a lot of people are using these now. These are really good for, like I said, um, 358, 357, 9 millimeter, 38 super, 380. I mean, you don't really need 380, but tall bullets, this is the way to go. And I do stand them up. Um, so that's my trip. Now, if you're doing pistol, or if I'm doing pistol, I use this parchment paper. Um, I'm going to stand them up, get as many on there as I can, try not to get them to touch. I'll just say a couple of things about why I stand up bullets. Um, <clears throat> I tried everything. I mean, when I got into powder coating, I think Elvis Ammo was the only guy doing it. And I learned from Elvis with his basket method. And shout out to Elvis. Thanks for teaching me, man. Um, the basket thing didn't work for, for me. I got clump bullets. When I tried to break them apart, I basically ruined too many bullets and just said there's got to be a better way. So this is what I do. I stand them up on parchment paper. My angle is... Um, if you've ever read any of the work from F.W. Mann or um, Beryl Smith, LBT Bullet Molds, they kind of cite the bullet bases as perfect as they're going to be is going to affect accuracy as well as the concentricity of the bullet. And so my angle is if you stand them up, you're going to get through gravity and when the, the powder melts and cooks on there, it's going to be a concentric as concentric as can be a flow and I have found that um, it actually improves the bases of plain base bullets if you size them because the sizing die is going to you know just kind of get all the little um, I guess powder coat debris <laughs> off the end it just flakes off and the bases look perfect any kind of imperfections, a little minor wrinkle, you're never going to know. Some other tools you might need. I use these um, needle nose pliers. I have two because I also use the uh, plastic um, BBs. And I just found out in the NOE hollow points, the plastic BBs get stuck in the hollow points. So one to get the bullet out, tap out the powder. The other to get the, the BB out of the hollow point. I use Eastwood paint, powder, tons of stuff out there. Uh, this is Ford Light Blue. Get a thermometer for your oven, one that goes up to 400 at least. Um, and you put it in the oven because my oven, um, it's a Black & Decker here, which you'll see soon. Um, it's squirrely. Sometimes the thing is right on other times it isn't so I just check it out um, what else before we actually demonstrate powder this is a tub that I'm gonna dump the powder 
with the BBs in. So let's see if I can I use these Ziploc. I don't know what they are. Just plastic tubs. Um, maybe you can see in there there's BBs, some powder. I did a couple of, uh, I don't know, three, four teaspoons, tablespoons, something. Handful of BBs. I use Teflon tape on the outer edge here uh, to keep the powder dry. Humidity is a real bad thing for powder. Um, these, when you get bullets in them and shake them around, the tubs are going to crack. So I kind of put a couple broken ones under here and you shake them up and, you know, you save some of them. You, they're not going to last, basically. So some Teflon tape. Anyways, um, let's show you some some of the technique.